I think they've so. only conceded six goals in this in this 19 game winning run. Six goals. Yeah. I mean, that is off the charts. I mean, yeah. that is clean sheets is standard procedure now for Manchester City, and they're at least going to score two every game. So, <laughs> that was an unbelievable yeah. performance. It was almost really. a walk in the park, really, wasn't it? It was like. Didn't yeah. need to seem to do much. They made it look so easy, but that's a sign of greatness in some Yeah, and that's, that, that's the, been real, a real trait of this team in, in this mm. run, is that they've made real games that you expected to be a little bit tougher just come easy to them, and they just go through the mm. game, and then they score at the real right times. And, and like we said before the game, they just don't look that conceding. It's a great mix to have. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, well, the Champions League high. wins in a row for Manchester City. The run goes on. I'm joined by one of the goal scorers tonight, Bernardo Silva. Bernardo, you're in total control for most of that match. Yeah, it was a, it was a good game for us. I think a good win, very important. We know how tough this competition can be. Uh, you make a mistake and you're you're out. So we tried to 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 play simple, not to make mistakes, to control the possession as we always do, and to create chances and, and score goals. And it was it was a very good game for us. It's not finished yet, but it's a good win. We didn't realise you were quite so deadly with your head. <laughs> well, I, I'm, usually I'm not. Uh, I try to practice a lot, especially now with Ruben. We make we make little competitions to see who scores more goals with the head. I think I think tonight I was I was lucky that that Joao gave me a, a, a great ball. Uh, yes, I'm happy to have scored and to have helped the team. Yeah, Jao Cancelo, he causes trouble with those crosses. He was, he was popping up all over the place. He, Martin Keown in commentary said he, his passes are like he's, he uses a golf club. Yeah, he's, a, he's an amazing player. I played with him seven years when I was at Benfica. We're, we're, we're from the same generation. I know him very well. So the connection is good as well. He knows my timing. I know how, how, how good he is on, on these kind of balls. So, yeah, it was, it was a very good goal and he's, 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 passing, he's passing qualities. And, uh, and, and overall, as a player, he's been doing a, a great season and I'm very happy for him. And what's it like playing in a side where players switch positions and, and you're winning and it's exciting? Well, it's it's very it's very good. It's 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 been my 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 fourth season here at Man City. It's a great squad, with, uh, great staff, and it's a pleasure to play with these guys. Uh, so far this season, it has been a good season for us, but we need to keep going because because we're just halfway through. It, it feels a little bit like Manchester City have created a machine, and and you can change the parts without changing the performance. I think it's it's always been like this for the for the past four seasons. Um, we have we have a map, we have a way of of playing, and uh, and players get injured. Some players uh, cannot play for for many reasons, and, and our style of play doesn't change. The team keeps keeps doing well, and and that's a very good sign. Keeps doing well and keeps winning. Thank you very much tonight. He's a lovely footballer, isn't he, Jolly? Oh, yeah, all really round, is. just on and out of position, just works so hard for the team and sacrifices his game at times to, for the better of the team and got his rewards tonight. Yeah, certainly did. Um, City are making football look very easy at the moment. Um, we were talking about before, maybe they've gone to dominance, but you, you, you said one thing about peaking too soon in the season. Yeah. And Sir Alex Ferguson always used to say, it's not about what you do in the autumn, it's what you do in the spring. Yeah, but they've got to so. keep that going. Yeah, they have. And, but listen, they look like they might. They look like they're going to run out of gas at all. Like they've got such a the depth in their squad yeah. is phenomenal. The players that are coming in and all having an impact when they come in as well. No one's sulking. The, the the dynamics in the squad look look perfect at the moment. And you just for for City's sake, if you're a City fan, Jolien, etc., you're going to want that to continue towards the end of the season. You don't want it to be that you're having your your best vein in the form right now mm -hmm. and you get the business end of the season and you start falling away and you mm -hmm. see a chink in the armour. They've got to maintain this now. 19 wins on the spin. Yeah, I don't see them slowing down. I think they just play at a speed which suits their game. Mm. Um, everybody's playing unbelievable football. Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, Cancelo, Stones, Diaz, mm. everyone. Everyone plays great. So, you know, I think Grail's come back in today. De Bruyne to come back into that group of players. Raheem Sterling... De even if one of them has an off day, which yeah. they don't really, yeah. there's another seven or eight unbelievable. And even if they got three or four injuries. Yeah, I don't think it hurt them, honestly. I just yeah. I think the speed at which they're playing the game, I don't think they're going to fatigue. I think in the past, when they tried to compete with Liverpool with those transitions and Tottenham, yeah. I don't see that this year. I think they got it sussed in terms of playing at their speed. I, I think that the, the, the system that they play and the philosophy that 
that's yeah. been implemented it, that overrides any impact of any individual in this mm. team, and that, that that shows you. In I was that. Gonna, funny enough, that leads me to a question I was going to say because we, we saw the impact. Of obviously, Van Dijk, they've lost him at Liverpool, mm. and and you know if you took Vardy out of Leicester or one or two of the other sides, or who if you lost one player because everyone said yeah, yeah. But if they lose De Bruyne, and then they did, and it didn't seem to make any difference. Mm. Possibly Cancelo. Yeah, you think because, yeah, because of that because he's able to, to go and that. adapt to different positions deeper in the in the in the team where I think forward they're covered mm. like Phil Foden comes in Gundogan yeah. Kevin De Bruyne the Guerrero but yeah. just that one role in that yeah. team I think it's so important maybe yeah. there'll be a chink and it, he made both goals assisted both goals um, let's have a look at the second one in the second half that you would think kills off the tie largely yeah it was um, and he kept popping up in this position all game really and it's, it's a that, that inside left position high. This is the left back, by the way, playing in, inside the pitch. Almost an identical part of the one. The, the forward can see your number, which you can see clearly there. You aren't controlling the situation. Can't react. And bravery from Jesus to poke it in. I think the thing is, as well, with Cancelo going into midfield, that means that all those attackers can get in the box. I don't think there's enough defenders there to mark the boys. Yeah. So historically, there'd probably be, what, maybe two or three attackers in there. Now, City get four and five. I think it's for the defenders. I think it's, it's pretty much impossible to, to mark all the boys. Yeah, they've got so many good players, that's for sure. It was very similar, as, as you mentioned, to, to the first goal, wasn't it? Obviously, Cancelo's cross. This time, Bernardo Silva actually nodded it in himself. Yeah, but what I think is the difference is now is the fullbacks are not overlapping, but the, the recovering players are yeah. getting back to double up on the wingers, but also now it frees them up to, to put this ball in the box, I think the second goal especially. You see Cancelo just putting it into areas that he knows players are making runs and Bernardo Silva touched on it in his interview. He's aware, they've played together at young ages and, and aware of each other's qualities and where he should be. And when you're giving players of this quality simple tasks, they're going to execute um, and that it looks simple but it's a great header. Great it's crazy because Bernardo Silva last season was out of the squad for, uh, out of yeah. the first team for, for large periods and you, you almost think, is he going to be the one of the players that's kind of sacrificed a little bit, go out to another team? It's funny how that happens. Now. John Stone's similar in many yeah, ways. He, he, he keeps, tonight, keep, but, he keeps yeah. players engaged. Yeah. From the outside, everyone seems like it's fragmented maybe and there is this player, he surplus the requirements yeah. but then all of a sudden something happens and he gets the players re-engaged again and then they're back in and they're flying and it's, yeah. so it's obviously something that he's doing as a manager that, that, that tactile, he's, he must have that. Edison had one save to make, it was in the 93rd minute. <laughs> and that was, that was um, Rodri giving the ball away, wasn't it? Which was a, a rarity in itself. Yeah, they're probably just, if anything, they're probably just too comfortable. This might have been their only shot on target, yeah. Gary. I mean, it was so one-sided, but straight at Edison. And the thing is as well, we, we, this is what we saw maybe in the past, making mistakes in, in moments like that, was mm. that is quite a rarity, Wolf. Hits it straight at Edison, fabulous goalkeeper. So they've got the defence now, they've got the goalkeeper, the balance in midfield. It just seems like the, yeah. the balance is too good. How'd you beat them? Probably shouldn't ask you, should I? <laughs> You're not going to give it away, even if you thought it. No, to be fair, what I think, we I know we touched on it before, you have to be more adventurous with your attack and, and sacrifice players and leave them up front. And you, yeah. Most likely you're going to concede. You have to be pretty aware of that. But then you have to say, you know what, I'm going to sacrifice two players, harp the field and make... City defending in wider areas yeah. and it's easier said than done. Which is the team most likely to be them? You think maybe I think United? Bayern have got the experience and the quality, but in I think Pierre, Paris Saint-Germain as well. Yeah. Mm. Um, in, like that, what Julian's talking about there, in having your two wide players or your two strikers cheating and saying to, to, to Man City, are you going to commit? Not like cheating, is it? I was, I just, it's, 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 it's quite playing chess like that a little phrase. bit. It's playing it's, chess. It's it's asking the question. Tactical. Will you stay back yeah. or will you keep committing people forward? And it's, it's a shootout. Yeah. And if you're playing against some team with like the likes of Mbappe and Neymar in yeah. a shootout, you're dicing with it there. So yeah. it's, it'd be good. It'd be interesting to see if we can get it. Yeah. And the English team, most likely, do you think, causing problems? Can anyone stop them at the moment? No, I don't see it. I think no. they they only. They can only stop themselves with mistakes or injuries, and I don't see yeah. that. I don't see that happening in the Premier League. Okay, uh, we'll hear from the uh, man himself uh, when we come back after this break. Um, another coat on, coat off. Didn't seem to make any difference. <laughs> 